chapters together, they could achieve a lot more. So we'll need a lot of direct action for the initiative in Colorado that's coming up, specifically contacting voters to get them to vote yes on it, since it is a referendum, rather than a law where you'd be doing lobbying and things like that. So I could see the board as coordinating phone banking, as we did with Prop 19 uh, two years ago. That any chapter can do this from wherever they are, using the internet, uh, and encouraging chapters to get involved with phone banking and things like that. And what would be actually even more amazing would be fundraising and helping SSD peers to fundraise for their own chapters to actually get them to Colorado, maybe for the summer or something like that, to do door-to-door -door canvassing and other things to help that pass. All right, what direct action means to me is what the candidates touched upon um, is what I study in advertising and public relations. When Roosevelt comes to me, direct action is uh, getting the information out to the media, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, newspapers, or radio. That is what I study. And also to get a message out fast and precise with a clear understanding. Um, all right, so direct action to me is actually empowering individuals to directly address the problems in their community. So you're not going to go through a third party in order to affect change in your communities. So for instance, if you have an issue of police brutality in your community, direct action would be establishing a deliberative dialogue directly with the police department, not going to a politician to ask them to then do it for you. So anytime you're using direct action, the main goal is to actually empower the people that are participating in the direct action. And I've done that significantly, and I'm going to probably say the most experience with direct action, whether it's protests, sit-ins, going directly to politics, politicians, whatever it may be. I actually was an anti-war organizer before I was a drug policy organizer, so I know the strategic use of direct action, and it is sort of the opposite end of the spectrum of awareness raising, where you're trying to educate a population now. When it comes to SSDP, I'm going to disagree in that the board members shouldn't be doing direct action. I think we can serve as mentors to all of the chapters that are going to be out there that have politicians coming to their states, and they're going to need to be able to actually address these politicians. So for instance, what we did in the New Hampshire primaries with Irina and Frank Serva, we were to get Rick St. Torm and everybody else on record. That kind of direct action can get us national media publicity and empower every single chapter member to know that they can address these problems. If elected to board, I'm really excited to continue my work with the diversity committee. So conceiving of direct action in that sense, I think it's really important to coordinate efforts as a board member um, through the committee, facilitating with individual chapters to do outreach into different community groups, um, be it women's groups, uh, you know, Hispanic, uh, black youth groups, um, queer groups, but also groups that don't necessarily agree with us, like Republican um, or conservative groups, doing outreach um, directly to communicate with people in the community and then forge alliances or at least discussions so that uh, policy change can be made. For example, in Ohio, um, we are hoping to get the Ohio Medical Cannabis Amendment on the ballot, and um, we will be doing outreach to specific community organizations that might be in agreement or might not um, to tell them why this is an issue that might be important to them, but also to get their perspective on what they want to see from this movement and what, what is important to them. Hello, Catherine Salentano here. Um, I want to hit on three general points. I would say one, to if someone is, is defining direct action as sort of a protest style, I would say one, um, I don't see that as specifically the board's role or more administrative. Um, and to the extent that that, I think that that would be more about us um, to the extent that individual chapters or other SSD peers want to engage in that, um, us empowering them with resources on how to do that and also scholarly information about, you know, is this really a good idea? I think the point of, of looking at professionalism and how we are coming across and destigmatizing our cause and continuing to mainstream is very important, um, which I, I guess when I think about direct action in terms of how I would apply it to the board and to my work in general, is it means getting stuff done, which may sound pretty simplistic, but it means figuring out what you want, figuring out who the players are, figuring out what they want, what's mutually beneficial, and how do you get creative and attain those things? How do you build those relationships? And we've had a lot of success with that on our campus. For example, I don't see the Republicans as opponents. The Republicans on our campus invited us to their meeting to come and talk to them about the drug war. We have a very positive relationship with them. And so to me, direct action is approaching people already as allies and not making it adversarial, because really everyone wants good outcomes. All right, great. Um, so, right here. Okay. Um, Could you please stand uh, when you ask your question? Thank you. My name is Sky. I'm the director of the Portland chapter. Um, my question is what specifically will be, policy wise, will be your first priority once uh, getting elected to the board? All right, we're going to start down on the other side. We will start with Kellen and work down this way. Um, um, my main policy uh, working with the board would be to increase 
Um, Increased focus on getting graduate chapters, not just law school chapters, which we do need more of, but now we have a strong base with LSS, SSDP developing, but we need to do outreach and we need to reach business graduate programs, we need to reach public health, we need to reach medical school, and so we need to uh, do focus more on building chapters, not just having one chapter at a school, but having several chapters at a school and having coordination between all of those chapters. So that would be uh, my main focus, and I would just like to say that I, and will be, I guess, retiring from my position as uh, president at GW Law so that next year I can focus on developing SSDP public health at GW.